What's up guys, Junior here at Custom Office, and we're here again with another wheel video because you know, that's kind of what we do. But this time I'm bringing you the opposite of what you'd normally expect from us in a top five wheels video. We've done multiple videos on like the top five black wheels, top five budget black wheels, top five wheels under $1,500, top five wheels under $1,000, top five wheels under $1,000 part two, top five wheels under $1,000 featuring me, top five wheels under $1,000 with the Lawson feature, and what do they all have in common? Black wheels. They're more affordable, they're hot, and they're easy to keep clean. But what else is out there that isn't just black and milled and offers a little bit of color and customization to your build? That's what we're here for today. Cue intro. What do you mean we don't have an intro? All right, so where exactly did black wheels come from and why did they become so popular? Back in the day, it was all polished welds and American racing wheels, and that was the cool thing to do. So how did it get to be that the black wheels that we aren't talking about today are the most popular wheels out right now, and that's the reason I'm somehow inevitably still talking about them. Black wheels came fast and furious into the scene with exotic cars and limited trim levels and package options. It was kind of seen as more of like a, a high tier, high level finish to your wheels. This translated over to the truck market and as wheels got bigger and 15 by 14 welds turned into 20 by 10 fuels, wheels went black and didn't come back. Black finishes became the move because it felt more high end, offered a different look and fit more build styles. Black is also a lot easier to keep clean and I'm sure was a huge plus as people started shopping for new wheels in these new styles. Black wheels are darker, obviously, and so they're harder to see. So adding milling or a machined face made these black wheels easier to distinguish and add some character features to highlight the shape of the wheels and spokes. Bigger designs also made them easier to see, right? Pairing that with the competition year over year to go bigger than that one dude on the gram has us with the 26 by 14s and even the 30 by 16 extreme mutters that we know, see, and love today. But black wheels aren't flashy and are hard to see, right? That's why we're here today to showcase some of the top wheels that aren't black and milled in case you're looking for something to stand out from the crowd. In no particular order, we have some of our favorite picks on the top five not black or black and milled wheels on the market. To start it off, we have to immediately go with the TIS 544R? W? B? There's so many. The TS 544 is insanely hot and it's at the top of the charts for a couple of years now. They have black and milled and they also have chrome, but they also have an exclusive brushed red finish. This is an exclusive finish to custom offsets and we absolutely love having this wheel to show off. Working into a truck that has red accents or red badging really sets off this wheel and saves you the trouble of finding a painter or powder coater who's able to get the same finish. Right out of the box, you have a custom color ready to bolt on and match your build color scheme. Next up, we have the Anthem Rogue. This is a brand new wheel from the Anthem fam and comes in your classic black and milled and satin black, but also comes in this sick bronze. As an outdoor company, Anthem has the sizes and setups ready for just about anything you could want to put your truck through. I know bronze is a kind of specific color and you're like, what the hell could these look good on? Well, let me tell you, they look good on pretty much any color. Black, yep, white, Hell yeah. Blue truck, yes. Trust me, yes. It's definitely a little more unique and stands out. It's a color and setup ready for anything with little needed to be kept clean. Next up, we have the Vision Rocker in their gray black finish. This one's kind of cheating since it's mostly black, but I mean, technically it's not, and so that works, right? The Rocker's a multi-spoke, split-spoke style wheel. Try saying that five times fast. The sensational psych situation. Try saying that five times fast. That, 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 that. <laughs> with the spokes all overlapping each other. As a busier wheel, this definitely looks better in the bigger sizes and comes out in sizes up to 24 by 12. That way you can still get the diameter and look that you want without having to go with too much stance that you're worried about throwing shit up the size of your truck all day long. Throw it! Throw it! Oh! 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 oh. Vision's also a really affordable option with 24s coming in at right around 1500 bucks for a full set. Next up for you is not your typical black and milled wheels. We have the Method MR305NV. If you haven't guessed by now, we kind of have a thing for red. And as Method is another exclusive red finish only available through us. Method race wheels are the staple in the off-road community with wheels on some high wild horsepower rides and adding this flashy red finish only further pushes their brand and styling. This finish on a specific model has been so hot lately that it's been almost impossible to keep them on the shelves. So if you're watching this and you're seeing that they're not available, I'm sorry, I warned you. But if you're one of the lucky ones that was able to snag an available set, congrats, I bet they look fine. 
Last, but definitely not least, we've got a wheel that, like most of these, is available in black and milled, but we're here to feature the chrome finish. Here we have the Archon Caesar. This bad boy comes in everything from your 20 by 10s all the way up to 26 by 14 with a negative 81 offset, and it's a simple, clean design. There's 16 thin spokes angled diagonally on this. It's also proper directional, which means that you get a left and right side of the wheels to have them mirroring it all running in the same direction as you put them on your truck. And that direction is swooping because that's the right way to do it. Fun fact, take note. This wheel came out two years ago and took the market by storm with a lot of lifted show trucks picking up this wheel left and right. See what I did there? Proper directional. <laughs> That's all we got for you guys. Those are probably some of our favorite top five picks on not black and milled, not all full satin black, a uh, little bit color options uh, as far as top five wheels go. So let us know your thoughts in the comments below. Obviously there's a lot more wheels out there that have similar styles that come in black and milled. Why do you guys prefer black and milled? Let us know in the comments below. Was there some that we missed that are some of your top favorite wheels? Was there a blue one or something? I don't know, you call it. I just realized Axe has a really cool white wheel that we didn't do. And a blue one. There might be a part two coming soon. Peace.